world has been waiting for. Look at the ream. The Strike Force Heavyweight Champion. The Dream Star. And now a fully fledged K1 star. It took him only 66 seconds to stop Everton Teixeira in the quarterfinal. The fastest semi-final win in K1 Grand Prix history was Peter Ertz knocking out Glaube Fate Souza in 2006 in one minute and two seconds. Let's see if Bada or Overeem can break Ertz's record of one minute and two for a semi-final win. Kogan, you and I are sweating more than Butter Hurry. We're a little bit nervous for him. I know we're both a little bit broke back mountain for Butter Hurry, but my word, just look how imposing the ream is up in center ring as the bad boy, the golden boy Butter Hurry makes his way. Well, the thing is, you know, with each fight that Alistair wins, he's just proven more and more that, you know, he really does belong here um, in the K1. I mean, we're talking, he knocked out Butter Hurry. He had a controversial close fight with Remy. I mean, he didn't get knocked down, but outside of that, you know, he was he was holding his own. And he, and he beat Peter Hart. He just brutally knocked out Everton Teixeira. I mean... But a hurry to take on the hulking Alistair Overeem. But a hurry knocked out Razan Karayev in just 38 seconds. So his quarterfinal victory was quicker than Overeem's quarterfinal victory. Over Everton Teixeira, Mike Pasadena, Melvin Manoff in the corner. Mike's chin for Butter Hurry. Let's go up to Michael Buffer. Semi-final match number one. K1 rules apply. Three, three-minute round. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is Alistair, the Hyper Dutch Cyclone. And his cousin here with him, Mike Passanier, the final instructions in Barter's corner. Look at the sellout crowd here at the Yokohama Arena, 20,000 plus. We are going broadcast to over 100 countries. The biggest fight event on the planet, the Fields K1 World Grand Prix. As center referee calls both men in for the final instructions. Last year at Dynamite, Alistair Overeem, under K1 rules, knocked out Butter Hurry in one round. Butter Hurry, Alistair Overeem, a stare down like no other. These men do not like each other. It is ready to explode here in centre ring. The fight the world has been waiting for is finally a happening. Nobody thinks it'll go the distance. Few people think it'll get out of the first round. Butter yesterday at the press conference said to Alistair, if I meet you in the semis, I promise you will not last three minutes with me. Michael Chavallo, Ray Sefo, and Mike Kogan with you. Who will draw first blood? It's Butter Hurry. And Alistair manhandles him, throws him to the canvas. Hurry's got to maintain his composure. He's got to keep his cool. He cannot afford a brain explosion like in last year's final against Remy Bonjaski. There's the right hand from Butter. I see Butter box a little bit more. Use that jab a little bit. There you go. And again, Overeem, double underhooks here. And the referee moved in. Butter's going to keep his chin down as he comes forward. Overeem is just an absolute monster. I mean, you just see the ease with Back which he, he dropped him to the ground. Butter hasn't slung the legs yet, which surprises me. Overeem, gut-munching knee, and Butter returns the favor. 
the tension in here. You could cut it with an electric toothbrush. It is electrifying. Body shots. Body rip again from Hurry off the right hand. Be patient. And Alistair setting himself. Checks the low kick, Alistair. Body shot from Butter. The one he used to knock out Zabit Semenov in one round in the final 16. Like to see Butter actually go for an uppercut. Throw that jab down center fast. Come back with the uppercut. Go in his corner, man. Right hand from Uberim, and he throws him into the turnbuckle, wrestling style. The referee needs to step in and, and stop this because the referee's card, scared Alistair. to step in there. Oh, he's tagged him! He's tagged him! He's tagged him! That's what I'm talking this about. Is going oh, this Jesus. place has gone bananas! But it's going to be patient. But it's going to be patient. So wake up that jab. Can Butter finish him? One more knockdown and it's over! One more knockdown and it's over! Go Here be, comes Hurry! Be Here patient. comes Hurry! Go Butter! Go you crazy bastard! Go Butter! He's got to be patient! He's got to be patient! Butter needs to be patient! Go back to jab! Basic stuff! Keep it basic! This is incredible! 55 seconds to go! Butter goes to the body! Uppercut! Uppercut! There's the right hand! Oh, it's over! It's over! Yes! It's over! It's over! But Harry has beaten him! He has beaten him! My cousin you pound it, pound it! From the right, pound it! But Harry has done it! But Harry has stopped Ubering! Wow, now, now, we're going to see it. But I got to find a winner for sure. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me put some hurry in it. Well, he did promise. He did promise he's going to do it in three minutes. The butter, the butter, the butter's on fire. We don't need no water. Let the butter hurry burn. That's what I'm talking about. Unbelievable. Speechless. I mean, he stayed composed and he still delivered on his promise right. of knocking him out with right. him now. Oh, I mean, my. this was probably the most mature, but yet the most violent Absolutely. combination. Give me some love here. <laughs> I say the man's going to be the champion this year, and I'm telling you, he's going to be And that's champion. what my heart was telling me to. Uh, the right <laughs> sign was it. Beats true. But a hurry sends Uberim to the canvas. Here it comes, boom! Inside ankle meets the jawline of Uberim. He does the chicken dance, <laughs> and it was over. All the kickboxers around the world, there's lovely butter right now. Stand up and no fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Peter Ernst is over there saying congratulations. For the second year in a row, butter, hurry. Is in the final. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> well, any every K1 fighter should be saluting Badahari because you know the, the Alistair put a bullseye on his back, not just by his statements against Badahari, but just by saying that, you know, pissing off basically every K1 fighter that right. has stepped in the ring. Mike, Ray, I've got to say. But you know that. what? I've got to say one thing. To Alistair's credit. He is right though. MMA is harder to do than K1. Oh, you are Whoa, going to you did not say that. Hey, you are going to cover backhand. Whatever. It is harder. He's, he speaks the truth. Hey, brother, you know what? You can't tap out in K1. There you go. You don't get an eight count in MMA. And there you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. It is one for the highlight reels. And certainly with that knockout, Butter Hurry definitely has Peter Ertz's.